Daisy here. Today I'm going to be yeah. feeding my pets and all sorts of lamb and stuff. But before we get started and all of that stuff, I would like to give a big shout out to a school called Bramfield and um, Year Two and Beth, my cousin, who teaches yeah. them. And this is all for her. As you can see, we have our first lot of llamas, what we are going to bring in into the building because it's getting getting icy and snowy outside and they're getting ready to lamb. Um, right now I am mixing some milk for the lambs to drink. We put about half a jug of hot and then half a jug of cold and then we put the lamb powder. Now I feel the right temperature. Pouring the milk in, and the thing is with lamb, you don't want the milk to be too hot or it will obviously burn the lamb's mouth, but you don't want it too cold or it will freeze the lamb's mouth. So you just want it just right, and then yeah, so we pour them into a bottle, but put all the things up. Someone didn't put this in right now. I am pouring the milk in. Because I felt it and it's the right temperature for the lambs. One. And there we go. Now we bring the jug and milk in. Oh, wrong. wrong one. So that's one. We bring the jug in and then once I run out of this and these bottles, and I go fill up, I go and make some more milk. Let's go. This sheep is in the last stages of lambing, and we're going to give it a helping hand. Um, as you can see, it's pushing, um, and you'll see when we lamb it. So this is the first lamb. Um, this lamb by itself, you never noticed, but it's all right, and there, and it's alive, and it's a gimmer. Here I'm rubbing its tummy and getting all the gunk out of its nose and head by having my hand at the head all the way down to the bottom. And now I am sticking a piece of straw up the lamb's nose to make it sneeze or cough. Now I'm putting the lamb next to the mother to help the bond. As you can see, I'm putting my hand in now, and inside the sheep, it feels like a weird and slimy and wet. So, yeah, now I'm pulling it out. Got the two front legs, and the head should follow. And here it is. It's another gimmer. So again, I'm rubbing its tummy, and getting the gunk out of its nose and mouth. Uh, they are both uh, and first time mum, it's a Sherlin. And hopefully it's going to lick them. I'm sure it will. Um, so now we left because we knew it wouldn't, we knew it wouldn't lick it when we were there. So we stood a bit back and started licking them. So now we're going to put them in the individual pens. Um, to again increase the increase the bond between them. So here I'm putting iodine on the navels again to stop infections and everything and stiffness in the legs. And then we bring the mum in and to increase the bond. And it should lick them. And there. So we're gonna put the milk. Could you put it back in there, please? Thank you. So here are all of our pets. Mine is Dan's pet. Dan is not here at the moment. So I'll perhaps do it without him today. As you can see, they like very much. 
Okay, so um, now we've got everything. Here is my little mini egg and chip and chip. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm just about to feed um some lambs. So yeah, let's enjoy the lamb. So here is our first lamb. Okay. So these will get half a bottle each or more. It's if you don't want them to be pop. We don't want them to pop of fullness. Or we don't want them to die of hunger. As you can see, they like milk very much. We feed them four times a day about 6.45 in the morning and then half 11 in the morning and then um, and then like half 4 in the afternoon and then late at night 9 or 10 yeah Why don't you tell us the name? Okay. Oh, so this woolly one is called Monty. Yeah. This good. Oh, this good-skinned one is called Mac. This average one is called Michael. This big one, Maisie. And this little one, Minnie. <laughs> Minnie's my favourite lamb. And why is she called Minnie? Um, well, she's small. Well, we were going to name her small, but we're on M, so there's another name. Because she's small? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ready? Right? No. These are pet lambs because when they were born, um, the, their mother didn't have enough milk to feed them, so we're taking over and we're bringing them up on milk. These are some lambs that have come from the field with the mothers and are ready and big enough to go up to um, other fields. The easiest way to transport sheep and lambs is in a livestock trailer and here we are um, loading them up. As you can see, some of the lambs have still got lamb jackets on. We put the lamb jackets on when they were born to keep the wind and rain off them. This is a little mule lamb and I called it Meg and I'm feeding it. This was a triplet and it's, it mate to a dead one. Yeah, and and it was a little baby, so we put it in one of the pens, and we just put in feed in it. Yeah, this might take a while, so yeah, see you in a bit. Right, guys. So I'm with my dad, and we're on the tractor, and we've got some sheep and lambs. Okay guys, so my dad is backing in now. It might take a few tries because he's got to get in that gateway. He's done it. He's done it. 
doing it first time, guys. Oh, he's coming back. That was quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna video them coming out of the thing. Okay guys, they're coming out. this video comment down below what you thought of it and um, thanks for watching and I hope Beth's class and her like this video thanks for watching bye